straight out to Richard Roth, CNN correspondent. Richard, what happened? Uh, we were here covering the Dominique Strauss-Kahn sex assault case. The criminal charges were dropped. People kind of started to relax out here. He already left the court. And I was standing with several of our CNN colleagues, and I felt like this, the uh, sidewalk swaying. But how, uh, this location where I am in front of the criminal courts is really right over many New York subway underground train lines. So you're used to kind of hearing a rumble underneath. And I said, oh, that's the train. But our satellite engineer, Mike Morrissey, said, no, that's an earthquake. And then we talked to some people who were standing nearby. And no one was running. There was really no panic outside here. And this other person said it was a quake. And then massive evacuations of local buildings around here. Straight out to Michael Capasoli. CNN I reporter, he captured video of the earthquake. Everyone, we are live tonight, an earthquake rocking the eastern seaboard. You've got to worry about the Capitol, the Pentagon, Reagan International Airport, shut down. Straight out to Michael Capasoli. Michael, what happened? Hey, how you doing, Nancy? So I was, I was sitting in my, uh, my room here, you know, just doing some work on the computer, and... You know, all of a sudden, I just felt really dizzy, and um, I got real queasy, and I, you know, I wasn't really sure what was going on, but then all of a sudden, I heard some noises, and I look up, and I see my chandelier and the lights in the background all shaking, you know, and then I realized this was an earthquake. It was really, really strange. So Everyone then, uh, you know, go ahead. Yeah, so, so basically, I just, I tried to run in, in between the, the doorway here because I wasn't sure how long it was going to last or what. And then I just ran out front of my house just to, 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 because I felt like it was safer outside, you know? One of the most powerful earthquakes in recorded history has been felt by millions along the eastern seaboard. Right now, everything in Washington, D.C. on hold as the damage is being assessed. Straight out to Chad Myers, CNN severe weather expert. Chad, what's happening? This was a big quake for where we had it. A 5.8 earthquake in California is probably not a very big deal, Nancy. But where we don't build buildings to isolate the shaking, like in the U.S., in the eastern U.S., because we just don't expect it, like we do in California, you get a shake. Originally, it stopped for a while, and then it shook again at 5.8, and it shook for a full minute. And then it kind of calmed down for a while, and, but the people's nerves were certainly, certainly rattled. Here's what happened today. We'll put the earthquake epicenter on here just in the western parts of Virginia, west of Richmond, Virginia. But the problem on the east coast, unlike the west coast, is that this is all just one really big, old, old, ancient plate. And so when it shook in one spot, the entire plate, Nancy, shook. It rang like a bell. You could literally, you could feel it in Alabama. You could feel it in Ontario. I got emails from Quebec and Montreal saying we're feeling it up here. Now, in California, the plate is broken up into a million pieces because of all the faults. So, in California, if this right here shakes, the people over here don't even feel it because it's isolated. It's insulated. It's broken. This shakes, but this doesn't even move on the East Coast. The entire East Coast shook today, and the East Coast moved. For a while, the towers at LaGuardia, JFK, Newark were evacuated. No planes in or out for a while. Train service was shut down for a while between Boston, even to New York and Baltimore. It was a big deal for people who, well, I guess by the time you, you, you don't get used to it in the United States, the eastern United States, uh, it rattled some nerves big time.